What's going on guys, back to you again another movie review tonight, and this time I'm going to be doing another review on a Jackie Chan movie again, and that is uh, Magnificent Bodyguards, and recently, um, well actually, um, a couple weeks ago you guys saw my new Jackie Chan DVD collection, uh, where I had this movie, um, well, n not this particular copy, but it was a different one that I got used, uh, on accident, I actually was, uh, buying it brand new, but I guess I didn't look, or, um, it said it was brand new, but it ended up being used, something like that, um, I said it wasn't that big of an issue, but, like, the more I thought about it, that I just, uh, requested a re refund and stuff like that, and returned it, so, um, after that I got this instead, and, um, uh, basically what this movie's about is basically a kung fu expert named, uh, Lord Ting Chung, who, uh, basically, um, agrees to escort, uh, a woman's, uh, brother who's sick, and basically, uh, bring, and he agrees to bring her, bring him, excuse me, to a doctor, and, uh, they, what they have, what he has to do is basically, um, travel through ancient China where, um, certain areas in ancient China are run by criminals and stuff like that, and, uh, that's, uh, pretty much the basic, uh, premise of the movie, and, uh, this was not a success when it came out, it was actually a flop, uh, this one is from 1978, directed by Lil Wei, stars Jackie, um, James Tian Chung and Bruce Liang, and, uh, action's director, uh, action director, excuse me, is Jackie, and, look, and, uh, I think it's Luke, um, uh, Chuen, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, and, uh, yeah, here's the front, here's the spine, and the back, um, and also the other DVD, uh, it didn't even have, like, the title on it, like, on the side, like this particular release does, um, and this one come out, uh, 2003, it's, uh, Released by Ground Zero Entertainment, it's under the Jackie Chan collection, so it says English subtitles, so you can't go wrong with that, and also, like, that other version was completely, you know, you know, like, it, it looked like, uh, um, it was VHS, uh, transferred to the DVD, and you couldn't even really see, like, the subtitles either, like, I watched, like, a bit of it, like, a bit of it, and, yeah, it was, it was, it was just a mess, but, uh, hopefully Hopefully this transfer is a little bit better, um, and, uh, here's the disc, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, this is actually the first Hong Kong movie to actually have, like, 3D sort of, like, effects to it, like, um, even though it wasn't, you know, like, 3D, you know, like, like, when it came out, like, it wasn't intended to be 3D, but, like, it looked like it was intended to be 3D, because a lot of the fight scenes, you know, pop out at you and everything, and it looks really cool. And it's done really well. Um, and this one is more of uh, Jackie's uh, serious roles. And, um, yeah, like, uh, he, he struggled during the 70s because Hong Kong really wanted a new Bruce Lee. And, and they basically wanted to try to make him the new Bruce Lee. But it, it didn't end up working out that way as they wanted it to. But, um, yeah, this one is a very good one. It's uh, uh, very violent. Uh, it's a... Uh, um, it's very violent, but it's also cheesy at the same time, so, like, watching now, it's, like, a little bit dated, but honestly, like, it's a really good movie, um, I know it's cheesy when you watch it these days, but it's still fun, you know, I grew up with these kind of movies, so I can't look at it, like, logically and say how that, like, it looks, uh, poorly made if you watch it these days, because it's not, it's a really well-made film, um, and, uh, yeah, this is, like, before, um, you know, Jackie was, you know, who he is right now, you know, um, and, uh, yeah, and, and uh, during this, uh, era was he, when he did, uh, Drunken Master, Snake in the Eagle Shadow, and Spiritual Kung Fu, and stuff like that, um, so this is, like, during that day, like, when he was, like, starting to, you know, become, like, who he is right now, but, yeah, um, just a great, great movie, um, and, uh, there is an English dub that's rare, I think, uh, 
But yeah, this one is the Chinese language because it says English subtitles and stuff like that, which I much prefer. Um, there is a set of the uh, eight films of Jackie. Uh, I have a eight film set, but it's not in that set. There's a different one. There's multiple sets of of uh, Jackie movies in in Lego pack. That's a handful of them. But yeah. Um, uh, just a great classic Jackie film. Um, this is very enjoyable. Lots of um, great fight choreography and, and fight scenes. It's done just really well. Great story and just uh, great everything. Great acting and everything like that. So uh, if you're into like the cheesy, you know, 70s um, or even 80s like martial arts films, then this is a definitely um, a good one to watch, especially if you're a fan of Jackie, like if you haven't seen a lot of his uh, period pieces, and this one is a good one to start off with. Or um, if you're wanting to get more and if you want to get more into his older stuff then then this one is a it's a good one to start off with and stuff like that and um uh the images on the back are just uh really cool i like how they did that and there's jackie on the front and yeah it's just a really good movie definitely check it out and uh yeah that's basically it for my review of magnificent bodyguards and let me know what is your favorite jackie chan movie down below mine is police story the original from 1985 classic jackie movie and uh for those who have um anything else uh that they have as their favorite it can be anything whatever it is let me know and if you guys want to see me do any more reviews of jackie films then feel free to let me know down below if you want to see me do any collections reviews um share my opinion about something and it could be whatever and i'll try to do it as much as i can and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching once again and i'll see you guys in the next one peace